Hi there. <laughs> I'm coming at you live today from a gorgeous lake here in Idaho and it's very smoky. So we have lots of forest fires, which is a bummer because I'm allergic to forest fire smoke. I get itchy, watery eyes and a headache. So I have to spend some time indoors, which is not fun when you're on a lake. So my family's out on a boat. I think they're motoring in right now. And I was thinking to myself, geez, I am such an introvert and I've built a highly successful multi-million dollar organization. How, right? People always wonder that, how? If you're an introvert, how do you do that? Um, well, there's a few different things that I wanted to share. I'll share some tricks with you about how. And um, so go ahead, tag your friends that might have their own home-based business and are introverts themselves. Because yes, you can be highly successful and be an introvert and be highly distractible because that's the other thing I am. <laughs> so I had to do a few hacks um, of my own brain as well as understanding the way Facebook works and social media works to make this happen. So hey you all, hey Carmel, hey Jennifer. Um, so thanks for clicking the share button Wendy. You guys, thanks for hopping on. Now Facebook's feeding you my video so thanks for saying hello and tell me about your weather and just say type replay if you're gonna watch the replay later or if you are watching it later also um, I had a, something else oh yes uh, when you watch this it prompts you to click follow so you get notified when I go live so please do that because I've got some videos that I have gotten ready to share and guess what this is hilarious you all I uh, can tell that I forgot to rub in my highlighter today. I have a stripe of highlighter up and down my forehead right here. Ah, I just rub it in for you online on the video. Well, okay, I went swipe, swipe. It's one of my tricks for getting ready for a video. Quick, um, I do quick, um, what do you call it, foundation, and then I do a little highlighter stripe right here and a highlighter stripe right here, and then I rub it in, but I forgot to rub it in because I was so excited to talk to you guys. <laughs> So how do you build a business and network marketing as a introvert? Well, I'll tell you what. The first thing you need to decide is what are the activities that produce the most results, right? They're going to be talking to people. So either you're going to be picking up the phone, smiling and dialing like we did in the old school days and still does work today, let's be honest. Or you're going to be making lots of videos. You're going to be going live and getting in front of people. The only way to build a business, and I don't care what business it is, is to get in front of people and to share your message, to build a relationship. And then, of course, that's when you talk about what you offer, okay? And so you're building a, a relationship and a following and it takes time. It's not something that's magical and happens overnight just because you signed up, right? You've got to build relationships, so how do you do it? Again, you're either talking to people, smiling and dialing, or you're doing live videos, right? Getting out in front of people, teaching them something. Um, this is how we build a business. Hey, Bridget, hey, Rachel. Um, thanks for clicking the share button, Carmel. <laughs> so, you guys, this is what we do. We have to choose what are the activities that actually produce the results. It's gonna be getting in front of people with whatever your story is. It's connecting them to the message, and it's inviting them to take a look at your products or your services and your business hey and um, then thanks for sharing Nicole then it's doing your follow-up you all I don't care what business you build you could be a coach you could sell makeup you could sell jewelry like I used to do you could sell wellness products like I do currently um, but the truth is if you don't have a plan of action and then you're sticking to it then you're not gonna get any results Right? And people can tell you, oh, um, you know, there's this method of building and this method of building, but the truth is they all have a common thread and that is getting in front of people, uh, starting the conversation, the invitation, the follow-up, right? The time-sensitive offer, for me, that's been huge. These are the things that produce results in your business. Thanks for sharing, Arden. Love it, love ya. Um, so you guys, as an introvert, all I did was make the decision I was gonna become highly successful. Then I looked at what are the skill sets that I need to learn to start to grow? What are the activities that produce results that I need to focus on daily? Then I got committed to my calendar. Thanks for sharing, Sherry. <laughs> and then I took action 
that's what creates results. And I took massive action every single day, focusing in those areas. And as an introvert, I had to choose the time of day that I was at my highest energy level with the least distractions. And if you understand that social media is created to um, give you dopamine hits in your brain, if you understand that, dopamine hits are the hormone that your brain releases. Every time, you, when you're online, you're just checking a post to see who liked it or commented, or you know, we just check a post. What happens is you get a dopamine hit and it creates this cycle where your brain is seeking and finding. Dopamine was created for human beings because it would force us to seek and then we would find, basically survival, right? Nutrition, etc. So when you understand how our brains work, we can hack that piece of it. Okay. And what that means is when you're going on social media, I want you to have a strategic plan, right? Who are you going to be connecting with, following up with, chatting with, building relationship with via social media? Hey, LaShawn, thanks for sharing. Hey, Carol. Um, does that make sense, you guys? When I learned that about the way my brain works and the dopamine that drops when I am on I'm a dopamine. Yeah, <laughs> Carol, you're funny. When I learned about that though, I was like, oh, well then that makes sense. That's why everyone, when you're out and about, I want you to pay attention. Who is looking at their phone? They're probably looking at social media accounts because again, dopamine hits. They get a dopamine hit, seeking and finding, seeking and finding. That's how way, way our brains are programmed. And if you can maximize that, knowing that and saying, okay, I'm gonna maximize my social media time and be very strategic, then you won't fall prey <laughs> to what uh, could happen, which is you go down that rabbit hole of consuming content. You wanna be a creator of content. Again, that gets you out in front of people. So making a video when you learn about something, right? Like let's say if I was a brand new network marketer, brand new my, my promoter in my business, I could have learned that fact about the way um, social media was created to take advantage of the way our brains are wired. And I could go on and say, hey you guys, I learned a really cool fact and share that and teach that. That's gonna build your following. Cause the truth is if you're going to build an incredible business, you've got to get in front of a lot of people. And you can do that live, meeting people out and about. You can do that via social media, which, right, I'm here in Idaho and barely have cell phone service. If I leave the property, there's no service, so I have to have, be at the Wi-Fi. And here I am. I can connect with so many people because I'm teaching you something. I'm bringing you some content that I hope is relevant. Have you guys learned something on this video so far? If you have, please comment. What have you learned? And, um, but do you see, take what I've done on this video and mo I've modeled it for you and do that. What have you learned today? And if you're gonna build a business as an introvert, you gotta be learning every single day. I mean, extroverts too, but for me, I find when I put myself out there, my energy level goes down because introverts, that's what we do. It's just the way we're wired. But that doesn't mean there's something wrong with me. It just means I have to understand my personality type. And then when I understand that, I can go about my day to make sure I can bring my energy level back up. And then when I'm at my highest energy level again the following day, that's when I produce the content. That's when I do the follow-up. That's when I reach out. I cultivate those relationships. I follow up with my customers. I offer them some special offer for their next auto ship, right? I give my customers free product, free product credits every month when they order with me again and again. And I have 30 some auto ship customers every single month as a result. They just keep reordering. And so make that decision of how can you maximize your personality and then also commit to the personal development, the skill set development, and don't overwhelm yourself. Choose a new skill to develop every 30 days and commit to practicing that every day for 30 days. And you'll find that you'll become very proficient. You'll become an expert. According to what we've read in The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, you'll become an expert because you'll have cultivated that in yourself. And that's what, that's all it takes is doing a little bit more than the average person that applies to weight loss. That applies to paying off debt. That applies to building a business. Just do a little bit more than everybody else and commit to that every single day. Rebecca, which part did you want me to repeat? What else have you guys learned on this video? I know I'm dropping a lot of nuggets, so 
Hopefully I didn't go through it too fast. <laughs> I just get so excited when I get to come on here and teach. <laughs> I love to share because I love to see you guys reaching your full potential. And sometimes you just haven't thought of these ideas yet, right? And I know this about my personality also, that I am a learner by nature, but I'm also a teacher. And so I consume information and then I love to teach it. You guys, let me share with you why you hadn't seen me online. I had a cyber bully take my information and post a sex ad on a porn site. Um, so I got some very, not very, but extremely massively inappropriate texts and phone calls and pictures sent to me. And it kind of scared me, I'll be honest. Actually, not kind of, but really did. And I haven't shared that story yet, and I should probably do a live video about it because it was awful. And some of you could probably learn from that, but I'm not ready yet. So that's why. That's why you haven't heard about heard from me lately. <laughs> I needed to regroup, get into prayer, get into journaling. I know, Luz, I know. Horrible, 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 like horrible. So thank you for saying that you missed me, Brandy. Love you. Yes, awful. I know, there's awful people in the world and they're always going to try and put out your light. So shine brighter. That's what I've learned. That's what I've taken away. No, we have not, Katie. We have not caught the person. Um, I'm, I'm actually, this is good information for you all that are leaders in building an online presence. Don't post your personal phone number. Not even in your back office. What I want you to do is go to the app called Burner. Burner, type it, Burner. Like burn with an ER on the end. Then you're gonna go and download the app. It's $5 per month. What it does is it will give you a phone number. So you won't have to give out your personal phone number. And then, here's the thing. If, <laughs> or when, <laughs> something like this happens to you, you can burn the phone number and you can see who did it because you, you can give out a certain phone number to certain groups of people or even individual people, but that way it keeps your personal phone number private. Really cool app called Burner. Thank you for typing that. Um, and I, I've learned from this experience and I feel like um, for our leaders that we need to uh, take some precautions for personal safety when it comes to our online um, presence. And um, if I keep breaking up, you'll catch the replay later because it will load, upload complete. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm still like worked up by this because I can't even like flow with what I'm trying to say. Normally I can just be like, bah, 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 bah. but yeah, not, not yet with this because it's too new, too new, but um, we're getting there. Okay. And, and the fact that this is why I'm able to even start sharing is good. Uh, Rebecca, don't post your personal phone number because cyber bullies can take your personal information and post sex ads so that you receive porn to your personal phone number, which your kids probably have access to unlock your phone number. I mean, it's not good. Not, 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 not fun. <laughs> not good. Not, not fun to receive photos and graphic texts like that or phone calls or any other whole nine yards. So anyway, so anyway, so anyway. I don't even know um, how that came up. Oh yeah, because someone said they missed me, but thanks. Thanks for saying that. I miss you guys too. It's partly why you saw me sharing all of my old videos from a couple years past. And yeah, I'm telling you what, when you're shining, people will try and put out your light. And it's not really because there's a problem with you. It's more of the own inner self-hatred that they have for themselves and they try and reflect it onto others out there. And I think that people do that to make themselves feel good so that they can align, like feel in alignment with, with whatever negativity is going on in their lives. And again, whatever. I don't hold grudges or anger towards anybody, but um, these things happen and I just want you to know, you're building an online business, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And um, yeah, it's, you, it's personal growth too. Learning through receiving, being on the receiving end of someone's hatred and horrible bullying behavior. <laughs> That's not fun. 
but um, you can't allow yourself to shrink away either. And being an introvert, that also has been really hard for me too because I don't really love uh, reliving the traumas of my past, but it seems like people who wanna be bullies will somehow find out what that is and then pull it up for you. So not fun, but whatever. I mean, it's growth process. And I honestly, there's, I've had so many awesome messages lately from people that have shared with me how my teaching has helped them overcome personal things. The crazy thing though is that when I'm not receiving those uplifting messages, that's when the haters' messages become so strong. And that seems like, I don't know, does, that doesn't make any sense, but it's like, I don't like I generally have a nice flow of people sending me um, messages about how inspired they've been but then when those go down a little bit that's when I get the negative negative messages and that's not fun that's what I'm trying to say hi honey you want to say hi hi to the people <laughs> hello everyone what are you having show them whoa where's your vegetables um they're coming next I was just talking about this is oh. how I eat mostly a big plate of meat but lots of veggies. Lots of veggies too. Half he's like half veggies and half meat person. Which I guess I'm only eating bread because I made it. Yeah, he's eating bread because he made sourdough bread. Okay, you guys, here's another thing. There's so much to talk about today. Another thing is Rob and I are launching a new weight loss challenge group. So this is exciting. Um, we're going to teach you some lifestyle uh practices that you can adopt into your day. We're gonna give you a checklist um, with a, <laughs> Brandy said, where's your bread? She did it, she wanted to see the photo. Come back. He made this from scratch, you all. He does a sourdough starter even. So, here, you see like that? I don't want my butter to fall off. <laughs> Um, so here's the thing, the new weight loss group, we're going to teach you some mindset hacks. You know how I love the mindset hacks. We're going to teach you the lifestyle changes that you can make and incorporate into your day. And we'll give you a list of lifestyle changes that we do and then um, challenge you to choose four per day. You all, the weight loss results you're going to see are going to be incredible. And I'm excited about this. So this is coming very soon. Um, let's see, drop a comment if you would be down with learning about these. I don't even know, we haven't even come up with a name for it. Honey, can you think of a name? Mm. Or do you need to eat first? Yeah, oh, there's wasps out here. I know. Yeah, go back inside. I wasn't bothered till you came out. Um, so anyway, we're going to come up with a cool name for this. I hope. <laughs> I'm not the best with the names. So if you come up with a fun, cool name for this, please let me know. Um, tag your team members. T click the follow button when you are watching this or if it gives you the option next time I go live so that you see my... Um, notification and we're gonna give you a cool checklist which you can even um, check the boxes as we you go through our eight-week challenge to adopt some new lifestyle changes and you all this works with our thrive products and this works for those who don't have thrive products in their lives yet okay either way it's gonna work for you and um, so we're gonna be launching this live we're working on it now um, and I'm excited about it. I really am. Yes, it's going to be an awesome checklist. It's going to incorporate a little bit of mindset. Um, you're not direct to me. Absolutely fine. Totally fine. Totally great. Yes, you can totally have it. And um, this is going to be fun. So I'll go live. I'll make sure that we do live videos and interviews to teach you the science behind this on my new, my, um, the wasps are here <laughs> on my uh, Facebook here. What was the hardest discipline for you to make a daily habit? <sighs> Cutting out sugar, which I still haven't completely done. <laughs> In fact, just this morning. Um, so here's the deal. Every morning, Rob makes me my lifestyle mix. He brings it to me in bed. It's just what we do. And then we also get to have that fun connection time. And then, okay, so then he leaves today. They go out on the boat. I stayed in the house because I had a splitting headache from all of the forest fire smoke. And he, um, they left. So when I came up into the kitchen, uh, there was apple strudel on the counter. Now, I don't completely eliminate sugar from my diet, but I do a very good job of eating a small amount. So I went ahead and cut about an inch thick piece 
and I had that and I loved it and I enjoyed it and I didn't feel bad about it. You all, that's the most important mindset piece is when you do have something that's sugary or processed, make the decision to have a small amount and enjoy every bite. Don't sit there and mindlessly grab a, a bag and eat it or you know, so a bag of cookies or whatever because then it's not something that's actually enjoyable for your mind, body, and soul. So we want to teach you some of these um, lifestyle habits, okay? So I know we went totally around the world on today's video, didn't we? <laughs> Wendy, you're probably just laughing so hard. But like I said, when I started, how did I build a video, or sorry, build a business that became a multi-million dollar organization being an introvert and highly distractible? Well, I'll tell you what, I focus for 30 minutes at a time where it counts. And that's it, that is my mindset hack. <laughs> Like, figure out what those things are. Maybe you need to set your timer for 30 minutes after this video and write down what are the activities that create results in your business, right? Maybe you need to give yourself 30 minutes to decide what are the activities that make a change in my business. And then you make 30 minute increments with a timer and you do them. You all, that is how I've built a multi-million dollar business in Laval. That's how. 30 minute increments, I know it's shocking, but it's true. There's no big secret when it comes to success, you all. It's literally focus on what matters for a short burst of time regularly. And if you wanna learn more about the compound effect, read that book by Darren Hardy, cause I'll tell you what. Yes, Gladys, that was my mindset hack. I had to tell myself, I can do something for 30 minutes. Made a huge difference. Sometimes it's only 20 minutes. And then sometimes it's five minutes of meditation so I can get the stress hormones out of my body and get back to focused again on what matters and creating my future. Because remember, all of these dramatic, ridiculous things happening in your life or on social media are all in the past and you're viewing them through a lens of your prior experiences. But if you wanna create something for the future, you gotta get out of the past. You gotta stay future focused. The old stories are just that stories that you tell yourself you keep replaying their limiting beliefs no let them go that's why i am statements are so powerful hey julia so yes wendy says consistently all right you all thanks for hopping on i know this video went a little longer we went around the world <laughs> and with a few different topics so did you enjoy and please comment with what you enjoyed on the video please tag your team members and let them um, know that there was some great content here if you enjoyed it and um, we'll talk again live soon maybe tomorrow for five minutes because I'm gonna set my timer I'll come up with some content I'll go live for five minutes <laughs> and then we'll move on right I mean that's how I'm gonna get back in the habit of showing up live online because like I said I got a little scare um, but I'm getting over it and I have been going live more on Instagram but it's very short bursts over there, like 15 seconds. That's nothing. Anyway, um, all right, love you guys. Talk soon. Thanks for showing up. Bye. <laughs> and thanks to those of you who made it to the end of the video. Type made it to the end if you made it to the end. <laughs> I'm so curious who watched my ramblings today. <laughs> love you guys, bye bye.